Hi. In our previous reflections, we asked ourselves two basic questions. The first was, what is life? And the second was, what is your life? And we ended this last reflection by asking ourselves, are we matter or spirit? We think those are the first self-reflection questions to ask ourselves on our path in developing our spirituality. So today we will try again to explore together those subjects. Let ask you the following question. Who is this living being that you call yourself? In a shorter phrase, who are you? Since this question can be interpreted in a lot of variations, for today let limit this question to its most basic sense and understand this who are you as meaning, what is your fundamental nature? Specifically, who are you, are you matter or spirit? Again, we'll give you 30 seconds to think, and you can pause the video to take all the time you need. question of our true identity, but more importantly to appreciate its meaningfulness. We shouldn't ask such a question to find a definitive answer to it, but to keep our consciousness busy at appreciating life, and that even in its hardest moments. So, we won't be able to give you a final answer on this subject, but here are a few considerations that we suggest to your attention. Even if some of us may be atheists or reluctant to acknowledge the existence of a spiritual dimension in our life, everybody should agree on this basic fact, as living beings, we are both matter and energy. How scientifically the existence of spirit. We should agree on the fact that basically, life is the unification of matter and energy. Maybe we can better appreciate the relation between matter and spirit if we compare ourselves to batteries. Just as batteries, as long as our material bodies have an energetic load, we can consider it alive. In our lives we may pass through different stages such as illness or aging, in which our energetic load may fall temporarily or permanently. But as long as our bodies are able to keep a minimal energetic load, we are considered charged, we are alive. We may sometimes be sleeping or in a coma, but still we are alive because we are rechargeable. But when our bodies is not able to keep its energetic flow, our bodies stop and die. Even if some of us are reluctant to recognize the existence of an entity independent of our material body, most of the individuals feels that he or she is more than just a body and that it possesses an energy. Some this energy is called a soul, for others, a spirit. And many that don't believe in such thing as soul or spirit at least perceive that they possess a personality, an identity, or, at the very least, an ego. Even if we don't really its nature. Most of the people agree that he or she has some kind of consciousness of his or her own. But what is the relationship between our body and this other part of us that we feel? Are we primarily bunches of matter that emit an energetic field that's developed some kind of self-consciousness? Are we just gatherings of organic cells, joined together by some electrical force that tingle inside of us? Or is this force, this presence that we fell inside ourselves is more than some electrical storm inside our bodies? Are we just material bodies producing some energetic field that will disappear at our death? Or, instead, are we spirits? Are we spiritual beings that enter the material physical dimension in search of something? In search of a challenging experimentation? Are we fundamentally matter or spirit? The answer to this question is entirely 
entirely yours and will determine how you consider your life and how you will live it. For our part, we consider that, more and more, we should be cultists that we are spirits. That we are spirits in a material world. And as such we should make sure to fully live our unique experience. How can we do that? Maybe by considering this proposition attributed to the philosopher T.R. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual being having a human experience. What is your take on that? Do you believe that you are basically a human being or a spiritual being? Take all the time you want to consider this question. It may be the most important question of your life. Please subscribe to this channel. And leave your comments below if you like to continue this dialogue.